Good Wednesday morning. I'm Tina Jennings. Now, I'm so super excited because it is time again for Tucson to show how big our hearts are. We are ready to go bigger and better with the upcoming Stuff the Bus this week. My friends, Lou Madran with the Community Food Bank, Lisa Rosenfeld with HSL Properties, and Joanna Grassinger with Suntran are all here to make sure we know exactly how this is all going down on Friday. You guys, it's like a reunion of it us. It is. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason you three come to visit me when we're talking about Stuff the Bus is because each one of your organizations has a hand in mm -hmm. what we do with Stuff the Bus. And Lisa, let's start with HSL and how you guys are involved. Um, we are involved with getting our residents on board and, and collecting food for us. Uh, we also have uh, our industry vendors, they also get involved um, and just getting people out there and getting food and getting the word out um, that we want this to be our biggest and best ever. Yes, and of course you guys give us a great location uh, for us to be at. Why is it so important that you guys feel to be involved in, in, in such a great thing? It just, it's something that we need in our community. You know, it's local, it's personal. Uh, you know, if, if people don't have enough food on, to put on the table, we want to fix that. Yep, absolutely. And we do this in January. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, you know, we're kind of coming off the holidays, I guess, is a, is a good way to put it. Why January? It's why there's a big need during the holidays, and a lot of people donate, um, but then there's also a lot of people in need. Uh, so in January, it's kind of when the shelves have been cleared out, and it's the start of a new year, and we want to make people remember that hunger is a problem year-round, not yep. just at the holidays. Absolutely, and I know you kind of mentioned it, but... HSL and the employees in your community, mm -hmm. you guys really do your part also. It's not just something you're asking the community to do. No, we get our residents involved. We put a door hanger on each one of the residents' doors. Uh, so that's 9,000 doors here in Tucson yep. saying, hey, if you'll give us a bag of food, we'll come pick it up and we'll take it to the food drive for you if you can't make it yourself. Yep. So the residents do a great job pitching in. You're not just talking the talk, nope. you're walking the walk, and everybody's doing their part. So once we get everybody involved, Lou, and everybody does their part, mm -hmm. uh, where does all of the items go? Well, the Community Food Bank is responsible for a five-county area here in southern Arizona, Graham, Greenlee, Cochise, Santa Cruz, and Pima County. And that really entails about 200,000 folks that need hunger relief. So by having this uh, food drive through HSL properties and, and with the assistance of Suntran, we're able to really get that food out to where it needs to go. It's a, like she said, it's a very, it's a year-long problem. It goes on year-round. After the holidays are over, the shelves are, are, you know, getting started to get depleted. And this is just a good way to get it kickstarted again for the year yeah. because it is one of our largest single day fundraisers and to have it right at the beginning of the year is great to kind of let everybody know that this has this has to happen all the time we have to keep mm -hmm. the flow of food coming all the time and speaking of what are some of the items like you said we're, we're a little depleted now because of the holidays and it was such a big need what are we in need of now sure it's always the non-perishable food items the miscellaneous items that we really need so that's always the canned fruits canned vegetables canned meats um, then um, just the non-perishable food items. Uh, it can be, you know, mac and cheese. It can be ramen. It can be cereal, peanut butter. All the non-perishable items that are on the store shelves at the grocery stores. All of those are really necessary to fill in those gaps that we have from the retail donations that we get. Now we're looking at this list right now uh, on the screen. Everybody, take a real good list of this. I'm sure there is something either you have extra in your house or you could pick up some while you're out at the store. These are all items that we know are a necessity to our life. It's the same for everybody else. But now we can't have a stuff the bus without the bus. So of course, uh, Joanna, that is where Suntran comes in and, and how you guys are involved. So we love the Tucson community. We love working with HSL and the food bank. We understand the need in our community for food and we don't want anybody to go without and so we are thrilled to be a part of it every year. We've been a part of it since 2001 and every year there's a lot of work that goes on be behind the scenes but we produce a lot of excitement getting ready for it and we love to um, support our local community and the food bank. And how do your employees feel uh, about supporting such a great effort? You know, behind the scenes, there's just there's a lot of excitement about it. Employees are excited about giving back. Um, several people have opportunities to come out and be a part of the stuff, the bus, and the people that don't bring in food to help with the event um, prior. And it just it's a feel good thing, but it's something that's so important that we all feel great about being a part of. 
Oh, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And you know, Kagan, uh, we are going to be out there Friday as well um, from the beginning until the end. Uh, start kicking off in the morning. We'll be out there and people can drop off those location or the items at that location. You know, I've been out there several years also as we do this, and I know people are starting to make this a tradition. They know mm -hmm. that this comes around each year. You guys probably see familiar faces. We'd love to see new faces, of course. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to thank the community, but I also want to thank you guys, all of your organizations, and the hard work. Because you were kind of talking about behind the scenes, and I know, I've seen for myself the hard work that you guys all put in. Mm -hmm. So thank you to all three of these organizations and you guys. And I can't wait for Friday because I have a good feeling uh, that it's going to be a it's, great place. It's going to be a great one. Uh, last year we collected over 27,000 pounds. We blew our goal out of the water. So this year our goal is 30,000 pounds. We got Come on it. now. We got it. We got so, it. And, and if anybody can't make it to the actual location at 7730 East Broadway, you can go to any sign, any property with an HSL sign, drop off the food, and we will get it there for you. Another indication of how you guys are uh, doing great work for the entire community. You guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank I will you. See you. We on will see you Friday. on Friday. Yes. Now, you at home, you can also do your part to stuff the bus this Friday at HSL River Oaks on Broadway, west of Pantano. For that list of accepted items and more information, you can visit kgun9.com.